Hello, I'm Nico at Charlie's Foreign Car. Uh, we are in the middle of doing our N63 engine swap. Take advantage of it. January 2018, BMW uh, changed the MSRP of the engine down to $3,700. Uh, so we're doing an engine swap. So let me, uh, so I was going to give you guys a couple pointers on engine oil leaks on these cars. So if a customer comes in and there's an oil leak, and you've deemed that there's an oil leak from the bell housing area of the transmission. Uh, so then you bring the car down and you look at the, uh, the center. You want to access the center valley of this engine. So you do a couple things. You come over here and you spend about 30 or 40 minutes and you remove this uh, upper turbo heat shield. Don't remove the upper turbo heat shield because you can't really see anything underneath there except for more heat shields underneath the turbos. Uh, so what I want to show you is on, on our N63 that we just swapped, I want to show you what we're trying to access. We're trying to access the central valley. Uh, so this engine's obviously stripped. This is the old one. And this is the turbo return block right here. It's up in the front. Uh, the two turbo return lines go in here, one there and one there. And we're trying to see down here at the base of this valley. And what will happen is the oil will fill up. and It will weep right out that uh, weep hole right there. And it will drain right off into the back of the bell housing, right down all over the rear main seal, and come pouring out the transmission area. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to see this without taking anything apart. So leave that upper shield on. There's two more shields on the bottom. Okay, so I have this Wi-Fi endoscope. And we are going to go right in between, right down in here. So here's the secondary expansion tank. Right underneath that, there's a big void. Here's the water pump. Right above the water pump, in between the, the middle heat shield, there's a mid heat shield underneath the alternator, right on the timing cover. We are going to put this endoscope pointing down a little bit at this angle, pointing down, and we are going to peer right over the timing uh, housing of the block. Okay, so we're going to get a live shot of the video happening right behind us here. Okay, so I'm just going to re-enter. Okay, so here's the engine, water pump, right in here. And then we're going to go right over the timing cover. There's our other heat shield right there. And we need to peer right in between that heat shield and we can just barely see the base of the block right there. So I'm gonna come over here to the left a little bit. So there's the base right down there. See, okay, so this is a brand new engine. It's nice and clean. You don't wanna see any pooling oil right there. That is the uh, turbo return, the oil return tube base that we're looking at right there, right underneath there. So there's the turbo return tubes right there going in right there those are some torx bolts holding the lines on and you got two lines so there's a bunch of sandwiching of uh, heat shields that are going in between all this so uh, that's what we want to look at right down in there and that's really the only place that i've found where you can see uh, a, you know, a good shot of this because if you try to go down, if you if you try to go down through uh, this area, you can't really. There's too many heat shields that are just in the way, uh, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And good luck finding your oil leaks. Thanks. Bye.